ladies and gents, it's STEM. Uh, we are the first night of Skies of Albion event. So this is the event that's going on right now. Uh, when you log into the game, you get it downloaded, you're going to pop in, you're going to be asked if you're going to play for the Axis of the Allies. So you choose either and or, and that's who you're going to be playing for tonight. Uh, of course, you'll be able to choose it differently tomorrow, uh, but for tonight, you get to choose Axis or Allies. Tomorrow, you can, of course, switch sides if you like. <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever you got to do. So, uh, with this event, it, of course, is bring in some new things into game. One, we have a brand new combat uh, reconnaissance missions here. You're going to win up, you can add chance to win up to 1,000 gold in this event. Uh, there's a new set of videos they have out. I believe there's seven of them. Uh, they're going to help you with the roles of actual individual roles of the types of aircraft we have in the game. Of course, some tutorials on piloting basics and con conquest mode. Uh, interesting. I haven't watched them yet, but uh, if anybody does, let me know how that was for you. Um, we have other specials. There's, of course, current missions running on. Th these. This is the time if you want a bunch of free shit uh, in this game. Um, this is the time to be playing because this event's going to be handing out stuff left and right. And what I mean by that is, is as you play, um, you're going to be looking at these two numbers up here, racing down. Uh, these are going to be tell who's going to win. And what you're winning, what you're playing for in this game is what essentially what they call loot crates. <coughs> so as you, how well you do in the game and how many games you win and all that kind of stuff is going to matter on how much actual crates you get, right? Uh, so you're going to get build these crates up and inside these crates are going to be all kinds of free stuff. Silver, <coughs> silver tokens, I believe gold last year. So I mean they run an event like this last year, of course. So you're going to win all this kind of stuff in these loot crates. You know, there's going to be equipment. There's going to be all that kind of stuff. Just by playing the game, you're going to be winning these crates. Now, if you win, <coughs> if you if your side wins, that doubles your crates numbers, right? So you want to be, hopefully, you're on the side that wins because that's, of course, going to double your crate numbers. That means you're going to have more crates to open at the end of this event. So something to think about, right? So make sure you're playing your hardest, right? Hard, hard, hard. Uh... But that, that's, of course, like I said, just for this event, and I believe it runs till after the new year. Yeah, I think it runs after the after the new year. I'm not sure on the date. I'm sure somebody is going to correct me and find out exactly what it is. <coughs> so there's a bunch of other new stuff that they did with this. They changed up. I believe this is the new camera angle uh, that we're going to see in game. I haven't, of course, seen it. Oh, there's a YouTube video. Oh, look at that. YouTube videos. Um, yeah, go check that out if you get a chance. But apparently they've, um, maybe it's, that's not camera angle. Apparently that's just a video on light fighters. Yay. Uh, might be over here in the list over here. <laughs> I don't know. I just popped in the game to see what was going on. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a little bit sick from the last time. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit of a cough. So what else do we got changes here? We all, we have changes in the tech tree. We have... Uh, the Yak-3RD was taken out. The LA-9RD was uh, put in place instead. So this aircraft is no longer is going to be actually be able to be available to be bought all the time. Germany gets the new line of bombers. These bombers are all going to be gifts. If you win well and you win enough crates in the uh, the event that they're going on with the Albion events, you get a chance to win these um, bombers without actually having to grind through them. Uh, after the event... Uh, you, there will be a line installed here, so you'll have to grind up to and get these aircraft otherwise. Japan has the J8M. This is going to be giving away during the event, so if you win uh, the, the crates, you might lucky might be lucky and get a free J8M out of the deal. The UK has brought out the multi-roll. Uh, before we only had up to the SKUA, Goldfinch Demon SKUA. Now we have the Hurricanes, Hurricane 2, and the Torna uh, Tornado. These two are, of course, going to be gifts. This one you actually get a gift, get as a gift, uh, when you pop into the game. So you get this one right off the bat. These two, of course, will be later on. You'll be able to be able allowed to grind through the hurricane to get these two. But right now, these guys are being offered up as um, gifts in the uh, the event. So yeah, uh, very cool, very cool. If 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 you're looking to get that aircraft uh, without grinding through them, you know, you win more boxes, win more loot crates. Uh, and it's going to go that way. So uh, that's just some of the new things have changed here. I'm going to try to keep it up. Of course, we've got a new uh, garage scene. Um, uh, I think it's supposed to be along the lines from Dunkirk. I imagine this is supposed to be England. And the axes are, axis 
are currently bombing England. Uh, maybe that's Buckingham. Let me, uh, maybe a palace of some sort. But yeah, so you get, well, that, I think that's a JU-80, or <laughs> I think that's an 88, uh, German 88, but I could be wrong. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, uh, obviously this is, yeah, that's a, hur that's a hurricane over there. Uh, well, anyway, new garage for the events part, so you guys can check it out uh, and all that kind of stuff. Now, I did buy... <coughs> Oh, whoops. Ah, it's over with. Damn, I wanted to play too. But apparently I wasn't, uh, I didn't get it on early enough. And I'm going to be kind of screwed because I'm going to be gone for four days for Christmas. Five days for Christmas to see my folks. So, um, yeah, I'll have to get back on it. Uh, the other thing I was going to tell you about is they have now, just like in World of Tanks, they have uh, presents you can buy. I bought the $35 one today just to see what was in them. Um, you can see that you don't get to open the boxes like you do in tanks. Uh, they just opened up. They just get them. You just get them delivered, and they are opened up. So what I got in the 25 boxes, I ended up with 5,500 gold and 27 days of premium and 115,000 free XP. I also received three premium aircraft: a tier five, a tier two, and this one, which is a tier three. Why? P29. This was probably an oddball one anyway. So, all said and done, I probably ended up with, I'm guessing with the packages, right around well over $35 worth of stuff. So, it wasn't too bad. And just by logging in, of course, you get the Aircraft Hurricane 1 uh, and the slot in the hangar for it uh, to start out the British tech tree. So, um, yeah, that's that that's that's what's going on right now. So I have some more stuff coming up later on. I just wanted to get this out there if people haven't logged in yet or haven't started playing it, at least to give you guys a uh, heads up about what you're going to get into when you start on this um, event. So you guys have a good night, and I'll be talking to you a little bit later.